In practice at 1-10, we are to multiply and reduce as indicated. You'll notice, however, that one of our numbers is not a fraction. It's a whole number times a fraction. We will need to make the whole number um, 24 look like a common fraction first. In the lesson, it describes any whole number can be changed into a fraction by writing a denominator of 1 underneath it. Let's try that. 24 is the same value as 24 over 1 times my 7 eighths. I'm going to use the cancellation technique to keep my numbers from getting too big. I notice on this diagonal, both numbers are divisible by 3, or by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 24 divided by 8 is 3. Then I perform the multiplication on the fractions that remain. Top times top, 3 times 7, 1 times 1, bottom times bottom. Do the multiplication. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 1 is 1. And similar to how I can change a 24 into 24 over 1, I can, re I can <laughs> reverse that procedure at the end. 21 with a denominator of 1 can be rewritten as just the whole number, 21. We'll do one more together where the whole number is actually second in the multiplication. Again, I'm going to change it into this 10 into a fraction by writing a denominator of 1 underneath it. 2 thirds times 10 over 1. I don't see any factors that can be canceled along the way along these diagonals, so I'll finish up by writing top times top, 2 times 10, bottom times bottom, 3 times 1, and do the multiplication. 2 times 10 is 20, 3 times 1 is 3. That's my final answer in an improper format. If you would like to answer back as a mixed number, you would say 3 goes into 20 at most 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18, and there's 2 left over. 2 thirds. 6 and 2 thirds would be this answer in a mixed number format.